The library catalog provides one-stop searching for books and eBooks, videos, articles, and digital media. How you will start to search is using the search box here. So as a search term, we can type in maritime law and click magnifying glass. Automatically, maritime law using the library catalog will search everything. If you'd like to be specific, you can click either one of the options available. You should always wanna pay attention to how many search results you get. It can be quite overwhelming. But to narrow down your search, you can tweak your results. And how you would do that is click expand my results. When you expand your results, you get a number of different facets to help you narrow down the results. So, one thing you can always do is narrow down your availability, subject, author slash creator, the library in which is being held, the institution, anywhere within SUNY, the location, which can be different collections that the library has, resource type, the database, date range, journal title, language, and new records. The ones you may want to pay attention to the most is availability, the subject, the library, location, resource type, date range, and database. Those are the main ones you may want to pay attention to. Each result will tell you what type of resource it is. For instance, this one is a book. Multiple versions display options for different types of records. So most of these are books, but sometimes they can be articles. If you always wanna go back to the search results, the active filters would be here. You can just exit out and you will return to the main page. One way you can always narrow down is by date range. You may not want so from so far back, you can always change the date by putting a current or um, a date that you think will be suitable by pressing the, typing in the date, clicking refine, and the time, the response time is a little slow, but it's okay. It will give you the date range that you have typed in. You can also pay attention to the resource type. Now there are a number of different resource types that you need. Most of you will always click articles or books, but if you wanna be more specific, you could click any of the other ones presented here so for you as well. You can also do the availability. If you want something usually available online, you mainly be selecting an ebook. If you need peer review journals, which are trade or academic journals, you can click this as well. Open access means you have access, um, articles that are available to you regardless whether you're looking within the library catalog or outside. So those are the main ones you may want to pay attention to. You can also click by the database. Each database represents um, what, what articles can be held in those databases because different databases cater to different subjects. So you can also play around with those as well. I wouldn't, but it's a good way for you to understand which articles are which, in, which databases. So for instance, if you're looking for an article for a book here, it will automatically tell you available at Stephen B. Luce Library. Now, if the book is not available, it will come up not available. So the Stephen B. Luce Library has different collections. One of the collections here being reference. There's also a circulating collection, as we see here, a new book collection, and there's also the circulating collection here. Reference materials you can't really take out. They can only be for in-house use also. Um, circulating books you can take out, and new books as well. If you are on campus and would like to take a book out, Circulating collection is most helpful. So for in case you want to know where this book is located, you click on the actual link and it'll bring up information about the record. 
Another good thing about using the library catalog is that if you click on citation, it gives you different options of um, paper types on your for the citation. So you can just copy and copy and place the clipboard and you can already start to build your reference or works cited page ahead of time. If you are looking for the book, you will write down this entire number here, which is called a Library of Congress classification number, which is, which is alphanumeric, which has letters and numbers. You will first find it by the letters, then the numbers to follow. Once you get to the period or the cutter, you're going to look at it by each character. So you will look for KF 1103, then once you get to the cutter, you're going to look for M and then three, and then four and five. Once you, as you go deeper into the call number, you would, the, your collection will get smaller and smaller and you will zero in on finding the book you need.